Welcome to JD in the Sump Sea. D here. We're going to start painting the tile today. Uh, starting with a flesh tone overspray. Um, I'm going to be using inks um, to basically go from one color to another. Now this is a red orange that I'm putting on right here. Uh, one of the versatilities of inks is that, uh, you know, they don't have a lot of coverage. What they do is they give color saturation, um, uh, which is why I use a lot of the uh, highlight effects below. Um, we're going to actually come to the color of the orange that I want using two inks. Uh, this is a red orange. That we're gonna put down first and then we're gonna cover it um, with a yellow orange which is on the other side of the spectrum to get the orange color that I want now you can see the subtle change that happens here on the high spots um, I know this kind of looks a little fluorescent but uh, we're actually gonna come at, at it with fluorescence a little later but this is about the highest highlight that I'm going to get at this point. And this is just to get the orange color that I was looking for. And now this is where the work comes in. Um, what I'm using is a purple dioxide, um, which is a very, very dark purple, um, thinned way, way down. Um, this is... It's all about shadowing. Uh, as you can see that I have the piece tipped so that I'm spraying in an upwards direction. Um, the, the shadowing at this point is what's gonna give this piece definition. Um, I've been learning, you know, on my painting journey here that uh, this is probably more important than the highlighting is. Um, you know, shapes are defined by their shadow and that's what we're working on here um i really wanted to get this uh film for you for just this little piece of rock before we get on the uh the table part um, and explain to you what's going on and you can see as well um it was a big piece of orange foam when we started here um you know started doing the purples um I really get excited because it's taken me a while to get this technique down. And, you know, I say technique, it's not really a technique. What it is more along the lines is getting the right mixtures to go through the airbrush in the right spot. Um, this is my cheap airbrush. As a matter of fact, I believe this was its swan song. Um, I'm fairly sure I broke it after this one because the next ones that are coming in I'll be using my higher end badger um, but I wanted to try to do it with this brush um, which is great it's a $35 brush but we keep adding layers of this on in different spots to enhance the shadowing um, I'm going to be adding a little bit of black at some point to do just the darkest darkest points um, and as we keep going here it's simply going to get more definition um, you can do this with a brush as well um, I've done that plenty of times as you know um, it is fun to do it with this airbrush though and then when we're done with this we are going to uh, Give a quick highlight with the flesh tone again over just the tops. And then I'm actually going to be using some golden fluorescence to spray in just those spots. Um, and then this piece will be done except for varnishing, of course. Um, I'll let you guys get back to watching. And when we start tackling the sump a little later on in the video, I will uh, come back.
Okay, so this is what she looks like all primed up with just that red rock on there. And through hopefully the magic of video here, I will, bam, yeah, here we go. Now we've got the orange going all the way across. Um, this video turned out to be a pretty long one anyways. So anyways, these are going to be kind of the same steps here, except with the sump, I wanted a little bit more um, detailing going on to it. Um, I'm going to try to match the two plexiglass pieces that I have going into the rest of the table. So I grabbed myself a lychee purple. Um, I think it's lich purple. And uh, at this point, we're going to be just highlighting the highest spots or the spots that I... Um, highlighted with primer, uh, white primer anyways, um, and then we're going to be going to a mid-tone purple for the lighter spots and along the, uh, 
along the sides of the uh, the canyon walls, basically. Um, and then we're going to be coming back in with this same purple I did on the rock at the end there. Um, and we're going to be detailing all of the spots uh, on all the tiles. Uh, the road work coming on the rocks there. Okay, here is that other purple. Um, and this is just going to be a mid uh, a mid joining between the uh, the uh, lich purple that I put down and the um, darkest ink that I'm going to be finishing with. Um, yeah, I really wanted this to be nuclear. Amazingly enough, these two colors really do work well together. Um, you can go up and down the the uh, color. Uh, progressions uh, rather smoothly surprisingly enough but uh, yeah I guess if you do some of that color wheel theory uh, it works that was how I came up with this in the first place just kind of spiffing through the uh, the color wheel and uh, yeah I really like the way that this all turns out so um, yeah uh, I'm gonna let you guys get back to it until we start doing some of the detailing. Um, see you in a little bit. start shadowing um, and this is where those textures I was laying down with the road come in to play pretty well here um, I'm actually really excited that I managed to get most of this <laughs> steady hand work done on camera um, on one of the first or second takes um, yeah this is a little longer video so uh, I kind of Kind of, I'm going to skip over some of my face cameos um, and a few of the ins and outs of some of the videos I've had earlier, uh, or lately anyways. Um, yeah, this is, this is where this tile really starts taking some shape. Um, as you can see, the, uh, the, the decorations I put on, I'm going to be painting those by hand. Um, in the next video and uh, it's very interesting this whole step that I have here with uh, airbrushing all the orange and everything there's no oils involved in this um, this when I when I did this I was uh, pretty much on my airbrush journey I had just gotten a higher-end airbrush and I'm using a badger for this right now um, gives a little bit more uh, little more laser focus as far as how you can uh, direct the flow um, the other thing about the badger which is nice is it the pot is surprisingly big I know it doesn't look like it but um, I, I tend to get more paint out of this gun than I do out of the uh, out of the cheaper one um, and here we go around the rocks and this is ridiculously thin down ink um, you have to do several coats of this to get um, a solid look um, 
And it, it really is nice because when you're running with that airbrush like that, um, you can get so much work done so quickly once you get the hang of it. Um, it does take some work, but you know, all good things that are cool take work. <laughs> That's just about everything. So, um, yeah, we're going to be working on getting these tiles all uh, shadowed up. Um, and uh, when we get to the last one in the walkthrough, I will be back. Yeah, a lot of that work when we were in the building stages is really coming into play here. Um, yeah, these tiles are really coming together. I'm stupid excited about this. Um, I'm also stupid excited that uh, my camera work's getting a little better here. Um, it's kind of cool. I don't want to sit here and do an over, <laughs> a voiceover on this. I just <laughs> sit here and watch this start to really take some shape it's exciting um there's still some there's still a lot to, to do on this but uh this is this is great the way this is all turning out right here and uh yeah here we go with a walkthrough um i am still amazed that that color wheel theory is actually right on these colors work great together and they're vibrant um really gets you murky going on with this that purple is really something else in fact it's screwing up with my camera <laughs> i can see um 
Yeah, a little dark spot on the end there, but that's where the pump's gonna be, so that's okay. Um, we're gonna be working on painting the uh, the the little extra textures, the rocks and uh, all that junk I got strewn all over the place for the next one. Um, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for staying with me tonight. Have a great one. <laughs>